If you're conducting one-on-one -on -one meetings, you had better be prepared. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help new managers become better leaders and advance their careers with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. Today, we're talking about one-on-one -on -one meetings. And here's the thing. This is very important, but I, more importantly, is I need you to know that this is not necessarily my idea. This came from a friend of mine, Ali Merchant, and he posted it on Twitter, and I said, holy smokes, I need to share this exactly how it is. So, link in the description, go follow Ali. His Twitter handle is Ali underscore Merchant. He has fantastic information. I don't even know where he gets it all, but I'm a follower. You should be too. So, Ali's tweet that got my attention, that really sparked the idea for this video is, Listen, if you're doing one on one meetings, you're the leader, you're setting the example. Can you please come to the meeting prepared? Now, you may say, but it's my meeting. Why do I need to be prepared? Ali shares three things. When you show up prepared, you're signaling that your employee or the person you're having the one on one with, that their time is important. There is nothing I hate more than people wasting my time. If you are not prepared, you know what? Call me in later. If you're going to be late, call me in later. Stop wasting people's time. It's the only thing that they cannot get more of. So show how important it is. The second thing that you're going to show when you are prepared is that you're interested in your employee or your team member's growth. Nobody wants to be sitting at a dead-end job where nobody cares because here's the thing. If people don't think that you care, how much do you think they're going to care? How much do you think they're going to invest in being successful in helping you get a promotion because they're going to have to work hard to get the job done? They're not. If you don't show that you're invested in their growth, they are damn well not going to help you with yours. The next thing you're going to show when you show up prepared for a meeting is that your relationship with this person is important. Listen, we all, we all want to feel like we have something to contribute. We want to feel like coming to work is important to somebody. And it should be your direct supervisor. It should be your direct manager. So when you're prepared for your one-on-one, -on -one, it shows that this person is important, their success is important, and that you've been taking notes, you are prepared and ready for this meeting to help the both of them. Now, when you show up unprepared, well, what, what does that mean to somebody? What do you think that you're showing somebody if you, as their leader, are not prepared? The first thing is, you can't manage your time effectively. I mean, you scheduled a one-on-one, -on -one and you have one job to do. That is to bring feedback and be prepared with it. It's not difficult. It takes 10 minutes to just go over what you're gonna go over in this one-on-one -on -one meeting. These can be very critical in somebody's growth. So manage your time effectively. It's 10 minutes to prepare. Come on, you got 10 minutes. The next thing that you show if you're unprepared is that you're not interested in the meeting. Because if you were interested, you would have everything ready to go. If it's not ready to go, what kind of feedback are you really giving me? If you're not interested as the manager, as the supervisor, as the leader, if you're not interested in this meeting, why should I give a flip about what is said in this meeting? As a leader, you set the tone for your team. And if your tone is unprepared, uncaring, uninterested, you can't fault your team for having the same feelings. And finally, what you're showing is that, like I said before, you don't value this person's time. They're going to say, you know what? This manager, they think that because I'm on the clock, I'm theirs. I'll just sit and wait. Which, yeah, sure, they're going to. They're going to collect their paycheck. But the level of respect that you have dropped down because you didn't respect their time. Again, this is time is something that people can't get back. And you may think that, well, I'm paying you. 
So whether I pay you to work over there or I pay you to sit here while I prepare for our meeting, it's the same, but it's not because now you're messing with people's heads. Now they're thinking, screw you, you're stealing time from me. I could be doing this, which means I could get that done faster, this done faster and out of here faster. But this manager does not care about me or my time. I know this is not the person you are when you're watching this channel. I get it, but let's keep these things in mind. Be prepared. It's amazing what 10 minutes of preparation will do to set the morale, to set the standard, and to set that level of trust and respect between the two parties. One-on-one -on -one meetings, they may not be like the end all and be all, but if they're important enough to schedule, and they're important enough to call somebody in from whatever task they were doing, then they're important enough to be prepared for. So get your coffee, and let's prepare for another video. I'll see you there. Ciao.